In today's video, I will be showing you how to check your privacy settings in Windows 10, which will allow you to get your privacy back. I'm not sure if you're aware, but there are so many different privacy settings built within Windows 10 that almost makes you feel like Microsoft is actually spying on you. Some of these settings include they can see your app activity to choose more suited apps for you. Windows can also track your app launches to improve the start and search. They can also use your diagnostic data to improve your Microsoft experience. Basically, the list goes on. This also doesn't include allowing them to access your location and also if you accidentally tick one option, you will also send Microsoft your activity history. The first thing you need to do to get your privacy back under control is to right click on the start menu icon. You then need to click on settings and you then need to click on privacy. The first option you will have is general and straight away as you can see on the right hand side we have lots of different options to choose from. As you can see all mine are currently turned off but the first option is to let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting to you based on your app activity. So you can choose if you'd like that on or off. As you can see, the next one is to allow websites to provide local relevant content by accessing my language list. Well, I personally don't want any of these options on, so as you can see, I have turned them all off. So go ahead and choose which options you would like to keep on. And once you have selected those options, we are now going to move on to speech and you can now decide if you would like online speech recognition turned on or off. I've actually got mine turned off and once you are happy with your option, we are now going to go down to inking and typing personalization. As you can see, mine is currently turned on, but I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this off as I don't need this option turned on. Once you are happy, we can now go down to diagnostics and feedback. As you can see, the first option we can actually not change. We have to have required selected. We can go ahead and select optional as well if we do want to send them more information. But I personally do not want to give Microsoft any more information than I have to. If we scroll down a little bit more, we then have a few other different options. We can let Microsoft use your diagnostic data excluding information about your websites you browse, offer you personalized tips, ads, and recommendations to enhance your Microsoft experience. As you can see, I have all these options turned off because I don't want them to know what I am doing on my PC. So it's your own decision. And also you will notice if you did have those options turned on and you have now turned them off, you can actually delete your diagnostic data that Microsoft has collected about your computer. If you just select delete, as you can see, last delete request is now today's date. And this will then be removed from their system. If you scroll down a little bit more, you then have feedback frequency. You can actually select never if you never want to give any feedback. We can now move on to the activity history as you can see, you have lots of different options here as well. You can store your activity history on your computer if you want, but also this option here, you can actually send Microsoft your activity history. So if you want to send them your activity history, that is fine. But if you don't, deselect that option. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can actually clear your activity history as well by clicking on clear and then OK. And if you click on the option below clear, you can actually manage your Microsoft account activity data, but you will need to do this within your web browser and sign into your Microsoft account that you are using on Windows. The next option on our list is under app permissions and we now have location. You can decide if you would like the location of your device to be displayed. As you can see, I have got mine turned off. To turn this off, you can click on change and then just simply toggle it to off. You can also decide if you have got the location turned on, which apps you would like to have access to your location. 
We can now move down to camera and you can decide if you would like access to your camera to be turned on or off and you can then choose which apps are allowed access to your camera. The next option on our list is the microphone. You can choose if you would like apps to access your microphone. So this is very important if you do use your microphone like I currently am at the moment. I want my microphone to be accessible but then I don't need 3D Fuhr to be able to access my microphone. I don't need Feedback Hub. I don't need Microsoft Photos. I don't need all these other apps to be able to access my microphone. So go through the list and turn off any apps that you don't want to have access to your microphone. We then have Voice Activation. You can then decide if you want this turned on or off. And as you can see, if we scroll down, there are just so many other different options to choose from. The only other option I'm going to suggest in this video to take a look at is your account information. So allowing apps to access your account info. And also go ahead and check out email as well and see which apps would like to access your emails. And other than that, go through all the list, check you are happy with all your privacy settings. I'd also recommend you check the app diagnostics as well to decide if you'd like to allow other apps to access your diagnostic information. And that brings me to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you all in the next video.